coding made easy. So what's up everybody and welcome to your next SDL 2.0 made easy tutorial and in this tutorial we are going to be learning about the game controller API. So uh, I forgot to mention this in the last tutorial uh, but you will see it in the source code um, that on my website or from github that um, I forgot to show you to how to close the the joystick which allows you to free the memory from it and then set it to an all pointer uh, so just want to inform you guys uh, about that right off the bat um, but let's get into uh, the game API so the game API is uh, built on top of the uh, the joysticks uh, joystick uh, class so um, or I shouldn't say class uh, the joystick API and so uh, what we need to do is we need to um, I don't even know if we really need to include this but let's include it just to be safe uh, game controller dot H I believe we do or we could test it to see if we don't have to but um, we need to do we need to initialize SDL in it game controller so I don't uh, if we delete this but we have access to this still Let's try without without the include and then let's see what happens after. Um, so what we're gonna do is we need to make a SDL game controller, uh, and we're just gonna call this controller and we're just gonna set it to SDL game controller open. So it has a lot of the same uh, properties as joysticks uh, since it's built on top of the joystick API. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna loop through the uh, uh, joyst uh, num the number of joysticks sorry and we're gonna say okay um, if SDL is game controller the current uh, joystick ID if it is a controller then we're going to say controller is equal to SDL so sorry we're going to do this here I it's so right here we just set this to null pointer so what we're going to do is we're going to we're just going to loop through all our joysticks and say okay um, if it, if one of the joysticks is a game controller uh, then set it to um, set that controller to that game controller and then we'll add a, a, a break and if we want to look at how uh, events work with controllers uh, we'll see ev.type equals sdl uh, controller button down and they have the same thing with the axis motion and everything and should it be else if and instead of checking for uh, uh, J button, we're gonna say okay if ev dot c button dot button is equal to. And the cool thing about this is we can say sdl uh, controller button, and they actually have the button maps the buttons that mapped uh, to the Xbox 360 uh, controller layout. Now if you use this on I guess um, any operating system or you uh, get your game on Steam or something the buttons will be mapped automatically when you load it. So if you want to change the mappings you can later on but these are these are pre-mapped to the Xbox 360 controller layout. So on my controller uh, I'm using the PS4 controller the DualShock 4 uh, so my cross button is reflecting the A button in this uh, this program. So we're just gonna say if you press the cross button, uh, then we're gonna change the image to the second image, and we're gonna say if we press B, which on my controller is a circle, we're going to switch it to image three. And let's run this program right now. Uh, where did I put my controller? Whoa, give me a second. Okay, so I got my controller, click the game window, click cross, we get the second image, and we click circle, and we get uh, the third. So, uh, you might be asking, you might be asking yourself or asking me, okay, uh, Peter, what the hell's going on here? It's just like the joysticks, the only difference is that we, instead of actually having to input the button number, 
or whatever or the or the access number we have it built in uh, right uh, so you might want to know what uh, some other features that you can actually do so we've already we can already check if it's a game controller which is a, a new feature and before I even continue uh, we should check to see okay uh, if our controller is not equal to null then we should um, set it to close and close our controller and set it to null pointer okay so um, yes yeah, so we have that we have the uh, is game control that we can check for it and uh, we already have it the mapping is predetermined uh, so that's pretty cool and uh, we can check it like this well there's one more cool feature uh, with the mapping and so uh, let's let's check this out so actually when we get the controller we're gonna say uh, SDL game controller mapping and we're gonna pass our controller in there and uh, what we're gonna see is uh oh sorry does this make any sense guys uh that was a stupid error our controller's not set to anything so obviously uh we're not going to see anything uh, so let's run this again and so as you can see we see a bunch of these things and this looks confusing as hell well um this number is the guid which is the global unique identifier um for the controller uh, we have the the actual name for the controller and then we have the button mapping so the first uh, the first thing that you enter sorry is what the actual button is and then when you have the colon you actually map it to which button it actually is on your controller so in this case it's predetermined that a or the a button on the controller is mapped to button number 10 so if we were using just the regular joysticks and we clicked button number 10 that would represent the a button then when you see something like this right trigger uh, colon a5 they, that represents the axis so it's saying right trigger right the right trigger is equal to axis 5 and so on and so forth and the left trigger is set to axis 4 and so on and so forth and this is how the button mapping works so uh, I've tried to get the button mapping adding it from a file to work but for some reason I've tried everything I can't get it to work from a file uh, so I can tr I'll show you a different way how to add it so you can actually load it from a file yourself and then input it um, input into your program um, into input it into this program if you get it to work from loading from a file then um, that would be great and if you could if you could let me know that would be awesome uh, but for some reason it doesn't work for me so I won't I'll show you how to do it but I won't get too in depth into it uh, into it uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna say sorry about that we're gonna say okay we're gonna say SDL game controller and we're gonna say add mapping so when you're adding them when you're adding the mapping it, they kind of want the same format with the the GUID uh, with the contr the controller name and with the uh, actual mapping so for me when I just put in any GUID it worked and I'm gonna put the same um, the same controller name and what I'm going to do is just swap the A and the B button. So I'm just going to say A is equal to B11 and B is equal to button 10. So we're just swapping the buttons like so. And if I run this program, when I press cross, uh oh, sorry, so something went wrong. So the reason why I put STDC out, sorry, was because. Um, this returns an integer value to let you know how many mappings it actually changed so that means it didn't change any of the mappings in our program which means we did something wrong so let me see if I can put the real uh, GUID and if that will help so what I'm gonna do is uh, GUID and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna say Okay, so I thought they had something to get the GUID, but they don't. 
So I know, I'm pretty sure it has 32 zero, so. Okay, so that should be 32 zeros and hopefully it works this time. And it did not work this time, so let's see what's going on. Okay, stupid error once again, so I didn't need to do all that. Sorry for that. I just forgot to put B10. Um, I think that's what the error is. Um, let's see if this works. So it returned zero for whatever reason. I don't know why it returned the value zero, but uh, the buttons were indeed changed. So uh, I guess it returned just zero on success, but it's supposed to return the amount of um, buttons it actually mapped. But when I click X now, it's uh, when I click cross, it shows that. When I click circle, it shows. Oh, sorry. So I just did a um, I did a quick test, and it returns zero if uh, if an ex zero if an existing mapping is updated. So uh, what I was confusing it with was with uh, SDL game controller add mappings from file. Um, that will return how many mappings were actually updated but when you just do add mapping zero would just say if you updated an existing um, ex existing map which we actually did uh, so uh, if you want to add the mappings from file you'd say SDL SDL game controller add mappings from file and then you put the file name in there and then you would load it in. You can put a text file or something. I haven't been able to get it to work. I don't know if I'm missing something, if I'm missing an include. Uh, even when I include gamecontroller.h, it still doesn't work. So uh, if I miss, if you guys figured out, uh, please let me know so I can inform everybody else. But uh, that's the basic, that's the basics of this program. So if you want to save it to a file or load it from a file, all you could do is just load it using ifstream, load in all the mappings, and then just use this and then just print the print it in here and then that will do the same thing for you um, but anyways that's it for the tutorial don't forget to comment rate, and subscribe don't forget to like my page on Facebook and follow me on Twitter uh, and also sign up on my website and that's it so bye for now